Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I'm Lonnie. Hey, I'm Candace. Welcome back. Um, we're going to start out today uh, pulling orders, but um, stick around afterwards because sales were kind of sluggish this week and it may be attributed to the holiday. Not sure what was going on, but we decided to be proactive yesterday and we tried a few things to generate sales and I think it helped. Um, so yeah, stick around after we pull orders and we're going to show you what we did. All right, it's time to pull some orders now. And um, we we had a really, our best day ever on Macari, I think, right? Um, Probably. Yeah. I don't know. We When we were selling like lots of Monster High dolls, like the Draculauras and stuff like that. I still that, don't think, yeah, I don't think we sold this many. We sold five things on Macari um, last night. And um, Tickle Pink, now a lot, some of them sold before we lowered the 10%. So I, I know some of it probably was attributed to that, but a few of them were sold before that. Right. So, um, I think I think we had like three sold before I did that and then two sold after I did that. Yep. Yep. So um the, we're gonna start with eBay though. The first thing we're gonna um pull it's already pulled, we had to go to storage for it. This is a lot of Jimmy Swagger books. It's ten of uh, the um Bible commentary, those big hardback books. Um, yeah, we paid what a buck a piece for them, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. We had four lots out of them, right? Yeah, I think this is the second lot we've sold. Yep. And also in those books we had a bunch of we had a bunch of books up here we still have one lot right here but i think we we had like five five or six lots up there too yep so we made we did really good on those swagger books man yeah we did really well um so these right here sold for 71 dollars and 99 cents and they're going overseas yeah somebody paid over a hundred dollars yeah. to get these books shipped to them yeah. overseas yeah so they want them bad right and uh the cool thing is if y'all are wanting to see me pack these well you're not because they're already packed they're ready to go uh you see i even made like a double double box here because one wasn't quite big enough so yeah. all i'm gonna do with this i am mean, gonna cut like a little slit here slide the thank you card and sticker in there yeah and then uh retape it and then then it's ready to roll now do you think since it's going international that this markings need to be uh -uh, blackened out okay no whenever i make marks on boxes i'm i'm real careful um not to say what is in the box yeah you know what i mean like yeah. i wouldn't put jimmy swagger books on the no, side of the box of course not yeah you know yeah okay next item is an action figure um dwayne johnson uh, nine Charlie P. Okay. <laughs> I remember when uh, it's actually nine Delta. All right, P. Here he is. I remember when uh, Candace was listing that she showed it, the figure well, to me, and well, she let, goes, "Let me tell you why." He was in with all those core figures. I'm like, man, this dude looks like the Rock. <laughs> and I looked at him like, damn, he does look like the Rock. What the heck? the rock and it is the rock it's from the jumanji movie <laughs> so it's is it a it's not that same brand though is it no it just it um, just happened to be in there it's by and no it is it is by lenard I'm oh sorry. okay yeah. okay um yeah his name in the movie was dr smolder <laughs> <laughs> thought that was funny 9.99 for that um we have someone bought two lots of comic books um the first one is five alpha r1 Okay. You get R R two. <laughs> Said the other day, it sounds like droids up here sometimes. Well, yeah. that's uh five R two five A or five A R two. All right, but we're getting R one, right? Yes. Okay. And the other one is one Charlie Archie four. All right, that said, a uh, big lot of Archie stuff uh, un uncovered. And by the way, I did call. I did call the guy that we bought all the comics from yes. um, the other day, and he said he needs a little more time to get ready, and then he'll let me know. So yeah. who knows if that's going to go anywhere or not. Yeah, but. I think maybe we'll give him another two weeks and follow up if we haven't heard anything. Yeah. Maybe I, just send him a quick text. Hey, just want to make sure you have my number or something like that. Yeah, I hate to harass him, but I also know how it is from what we do. Uh, we get contacted from time to time. And then we'll say, we'll, okay, we'll get back to you. And then we get busy with a bunch of stuff. And then we just forget, and you know. We, and we had his number. I never gave him ours. So right. I don't want him to lose the number and then want to reach out to us, you know. 
So those two lots sold together for $92.98. Um, we sold a single comic type book, Tara on the Dark Continent, number two, five Charlie, Weirdo 17. Okay. Weirdo. We need to get some more of these books listed, I guess, because uh, we've we've sold probably over half of these things that I've listed. I think so I had both of these boxes full at one point. Okay, here we go. Terra on the Dark con Continent. That is a. I think that's a really cool cover. It really is. That's, the bright colors and mm -hmm. just the image. Yeah, it's very nice. Um, we had a. Uh, we had, I think we had a couple of copies of this. Fifteen ninety nine for that one. Okay. In the cube, we sports sealed. Alrighty. Got it. Thirty four ninety nine for that. Okay. Ten Bravo Build a Bear Teddy Bear wherein um surf. Shirt. Surf shirt. And sandals. <laughs> Ten Bravo? Yeah. He's Ten. probably in, he might be in a bag. There's a well there's also a bag back. I think this is him. I'll look well, oh, he's in here? I think so. You put him in like a a dust cover? Yeah. Wait, does he have does he have paws that have paw prints on it that say bab? That's his sandals. Okay. Yeah, he's wearing swim trucks and sandals that wasn't advertised with that bag was it i don't i mean i'm putting it i'm sending it with it are you why okay. not okay um 13.99 for that okay cc9 we sold a softball glove d marini vortex cc9 Yeah, that's a pretty nice glove. $28.79 for that one. Okay. It's glove season, y'all. Yeah. Six Charlie iPod Nano. Mint condition. Six Charlie. See? Like, in this case, there was a there was like a, a, an accessory or two with it. So a lot of times I like to put that kind of stuff in just a box. And that's ready to go? No, uh, uh well, it might be. I'm gonna pop it open and inspect it. Yeah. But you see, I just put i.p. and mm -hmm. I'm not gonna put Apple iPod on the side of the box, you know. Right, right. Um, thirty six dollars and ninety nine cents for that. We bought that for five dollars. Yes. Uh, same garage sale where we bought NASA jacket, uh, Army field jacket, sewing Sur machine. Surger machine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, next item, 8 Delta, Sex in the City DVD series. I saw that sale, and I'm like, I don't even remember having that. <laughs> so, let's find out together. 8 what? Delta. 8 Delta. Okay. And it has a movie pack. Let's see. Oh, I see some DVDs back here. Anytime you can sell DVDs, that's a good thing. Let's see. Yep, there's the movie pass. Okay. Oh, like an expired yeah. at the actual theater. Yeah, like for maybe the uh, premiere or something like that. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. So, we should have seasons one through six there. Okay. And those sold for $13.99. I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe. Six. six has two parts. One, two, three, four, and there's five other than that. Okay, yeah, that's and right. Maybe put the little movie pass in something separate because they may not see it sitting in there. Well, I mean, it's it's. I know. It's slipped into the front of the first season. Mm -hmm. I think it'll be fine like that. Okay, Hot Wheels Turbine Time Two Charlie C12. Okay, nice. Two Charlie what? C12. Oh, that might be one of those ones that I have like. Well, here's a C12. Is it a uh, serial number 687 of 1500? Yes. Okay. This is it. $99.99. Okay, good. I, I got to be honest. Whenever I was listing these, I was like, because we had five of them. Yeah. I think we sold two so far. And I was like, man, are these really going to sell for 100 It looked like the right price, but they are. you never know. All right. So that's all the eBay stuff, right? Yes. Okay. 
Uh, jumping over to Makari, we have a G.I. Joe Dreadnought figure in the Bolo drawer. Bolo. Uh, is this him right here? Oh, okay. 1985 G.I. Joe Torch Dreadnought Cobra. Yes. That's guys, uh, that's guys a little that's new. That's from there. the action figure buy, yep. Mm -hmm. Um, $22.49 plus ship for that. Okay. Uh, we have a scorpion, um, from the guy buy. It's in, it's in pocket 158. That's just a part, right? It, it came with a little action figure set. Mighty Max Conquers the Temple or something like that. A little obscure, um something i don't know <laughs> we this was interesting um all day yesterday or not all day but last night we had a guy on ebay i think i probably sent out like 10 percent offers yeah. and this probably was in there yeah and he wanted to pay a little bit less right so then we kept going kind of back and forth and we couldn't edit we couldn't send him an offer because i already had offers out blah 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 and we i think we were going to end up changing the price or whatever well, I, I actually was able to turn on best offer and i messaged him back and let him know and he didn't come and buy it right away and then it, it sold, sold on macari for full price so he kind of um he drug his feet and but we ended up making a pretty good bit more i know it's not a, a big sale but we ended up making 18 with no fees we're getting 18 dollars oh we got eight oh so this was after we did 10 percent huh let me see. It must be. Yeah. But it's still like selling this at ten percent off on Macari was still better than selling it for twenty on eBay because of the fees. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That was one that we didn't pay any fees. Yeah. Um. We have two Ford Mustang hats there in the hat box eight. Get those pulled out. Okay. I don't know if they're bundled together or how we have them in there. They're Ford, and they're kids hats, right? Okay. So I, uh, youth ladies. One of them is red with the. They both have the horse on the front. Oh, this is it. Yeah, one's like a charcoal color. Yeah, got them right Those here. Those are um, 19 plus ship. Okay, good. Okay, we sold a Bible. It's on 3 Bravo. It's a light brown colored um, calf skin leather. Oh, it's a little fat Bible. Binding. Is this it here? I mean, I, I think. Outside of the binding where your hand is, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's all for twelve dollars. Plus shit. Plus shit. It better be. <laughs> Whenever I took the offer, I was like, "All right, I'll take yeah. it." And then we sold a Mickey Mouse glass jar. It's on Six Echo. Candace showed me this. We got an offer on this for how much? Like twenty. Sold it for 24 um, 24 including shipping, including shipping. Yeah. this is a we do free shipping on a lot of stuff and uh this is one of it but like once it gets over a pound shipping weight mm -hmm. and so candace is like you want to you want to do this for 24 free ship and i was like you know what we paid 25 cents yeah. for it i did ask him since he has to pack it you know <laughs> yeah no that's fine all right that's all the orders okay good good little sales day we've had a couple of slow ones this week so yeah. this was uh Kinda, this was nice to see yep i hope this keeps up me too let me get to packing all right y'all that's everything behind me all packed up and ready to go um it only took it's only 11 11 right now i think we started pulling orders around 9 30 and I think I started packing about 10. So we're looking at like just over an hour to pack that many things. That's These are all pretty much easy packs today though. All right, so like Candace said earlier, we, we did, I don't know. I think we just, I think, I think sometimes when you're looking at like slow sales or good sales days or whatever, and you try and find reasons, um, sometimes it's just chance. Like, sales don't come in like we want them to no they come in when they want to yeah and i'm sure there's like a million factors that contribute to that some of it is on us some of it is just stuff we can't control so a lot of it's just chance right like yeah. it doesn't work like if you sell like if you sell on average 15 things a day 12 things a day whatever your number is five things a day one thing a day 
uh, you know that if you sell on average one thing a day, that doesn't mean you sell something every day. That means you have days where you don't sell anything. You have days where you sell five things. And you have other days where you sell one or two things. Like, it just... That's just how it is. That's how it's going to be unless you're selling all the same thing. Like, if we sold only cold beer signs, <laughs> then we would kind of pretty much know how many we, we could depend on to sell I, per, per day. I bet there's an Etsy seller that makes those kinds of license plate signs to say whatever you want yeah i'm oh, sure yeah. that i'm sure that's the thing we got yeah. that one on vacation in mexico yeah <laughs> we get asked about it all the time too yeah, like people yeah. want to buy it and stuff we picked so. that up in cozumel i think yeah yeah we've been offered well i'm, I'm getting We're off, track. off track. okay let, i'm gonna stop i'm gonna stop but um yeah as far as macari goes we um we made we are listing we have been listing things uh, that suit are well suited for Macari. As a matter of fact, we got some stuff from uh, storage. Yeah. This this is from the uh, two thousand dollar store buy. Yes, we're at storage anyways. And I spotted those. I'm like, hey, I didn't know we had those, and we grabbed a whole box full of action figures. That's the kind of stuff that does really good on Macari and on eBay too. Yeah, but uh, we, I think a lot of it is attributed to the fact that we, you know have been listing that kind of stuff right but also um yesterday we went ahead and we didn't do it at first but we went ahead and lowered our prices on macari by 10 percent across the board yeah which i was fine with because our average selling cost on ebay is like 13 point something percent by the time you pay your final value fee and then you factor in that I don't know what the percentage is. Probably around half of our sales on eBay have uh, two point one percent promoted promoted listings, yeah. and we put promoted listings on pretty much everything. We do, but not everything sells via promoted listing. Correct. So uh, we did lower prices um, on Macari across the board by ten percent, and um, I think that's going to help. Mm -hmm. It's going to help offset, you know the. Yeah. In fact, I, I've been messaging with someone um, something I just cross-listed this morning, and they offered less. And I'm like, you know, I just listed this. I did take a little off for him, but he's like, send the offer back. Let me see what it's going to be with these new buyer fees. Oh, and, really? Yeah. So, so, they, so you found a buyer that was sensitive to the fees, right? Which makes sense. I would be too. Yeah. But not everybody. Yeah. Is. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's it's we're gonna. I think we're gonna start feeling the pain from that. Um, so we're trying to be um, staying one step ahead of the game. And we just went ahead and lowered everything by 10% to yeah. help them out. So. Something, else, um, something else we've been doing, and this is what I want to show y'all. Uh, we just started yesterday. I'm going to start uh, at the end of every, at the end of business every day. I'm going to sit down at the computer and do, um, I'm going to do something. I'm going to, I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to, I'm going to screen share with y'all and show. But um, yeah, we are ending. We've been hesitant to end and relist on eBay, even though I think it does. It could potentially help because items go dead after a while. Yeah, we tried it about a year ago, and um, we it, we, we had, did it a little bit. We didn't we didn't see uh, much results, but we didn't do a ton of it. So um, we're gonna really try it this time. Yeah. So my idea was to order everything from based on how long it's been listed on eBay and then every day take the oldest 10 items and end them and relist them. And the only reason we've been hesitant to try it is because we do use list perfectly. So when you use list perfectly um, and you and Candace, like if we sell something to Macari and Candace goes into list perfectly to mark as sold, then list perfectly needs to know where that listing is. Yes, they and need it, that item number for that listing. Right. EBay. And if you end and relist, then Mercar uh, not Mercar list perfectly won't be able to unlist it. And so we need to be able to like update those uh listings on we need to be able to update those listings on list perfectly with the new item number. And uh, there is another way you could do it. We could just like end those listings within list perfectly and then 
re re cross post them with list perfectly but then we lose all of the little tweaks we've done to make them compatible like to satisfy everything in ebay you yeah. know what i mean yeah and i mean the other thing also while doing that is just checking prices checking titles for spelling mistakes categories just check looking over the listing real quick while doing it right um because like some of the stuff that we did, he, we worked on yesterday that was ended and relisted was on sale. So we just relisted it for pretty much that price instead of the full price. You know? Right. Yep. So, so uh, yeah, I'm going to sit down and screen share with y'all and show you exactly how I'm going to do this every day. There are, there are probably other ways to do it. There might be smarter ways to do it, but I'm going to show you how I'm doing it right now. So let's, let's go to the computer. We're on our active listings. I'm going to make sure I have them ordered from oldest to newest. This could take a second sometimes. Okay, so now we have oldest to newest, and I'm going to do 10. So I'm going to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And yeah, 10 selected, it shows right here. And uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to end those listings. Are you sure? End listings. That'll take a second. And not everything on eBay is cross-posted. So that's going to that's gonna come up here in a minute. And now what we're going to do, we're going to go to listings, ended. And I'm going to start... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And usually I'll usually I will go ahead and like identify what the first and last item is so it's easier. I don't have to count. But uh, then I'll just open new tabs uh, by clicking on relist. I'm on my computer I click command and then uh, relist on each one of these items. It'll open up a new tab with the re with the read list interface. So we're gonna have 10 tabs up here. All right, and I might not, I might not record doing this for all 10 tabs, but I'll show y'all uh, at least a few of them. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna look at our first one. This is a uh, Deadpool t-shirt, and I'm really just going to double check and make sure everything looks right here I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on it um, I am gonna adjust the price a little bit not gonna allow offers shipping's fine this is a big one I've seen like items that we had like maybe if this was 66 inches and I didn't mean to do that, it was just a typo, that'll basically make your item unsellable at that point. Um, okay, everything looks good, 2.1%. And then I hit list. And I'm going to go down the line. This one, GG, I don't know why it says GG. Does it say good game on it or something? I don't know. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to go through each one of these listings. I'll check the size. They're all mediums. New with tags. We'll lower this price too. And that looks good. List. We're going to keep on going. Okay, we got some kind of press photo here. That is, this is really odd I don't know why why do I have this second photo oh because there's a blemish there okay that makes sense 6b18 uh, look there's no condition here I don't know why that wasn't condition wasn't clicked all right 699 I'm not adjusting that price I don't want to sell it cheaper than that we'll just let it rip okay that's good and a lot of people will, um, a lot of people, you know, change titles and photos and stuff like that. And I, th I think that's not a bad idea. I'm just a little lazier, a little lazier than that. I'll drop this price a little bit. Okay, calculated. Yeah, we'll 
looks good. Little Pez dispenser. Probably going to additional. Also making sure uh, there's no required item specifics. Item condition new. Okay, we'll drop this price. Instead of putting stuff on sale, I think I'm going to start doing this. All right, that looks fine. We have this pillow sham. Been dropping the prices on these too. I'm going to $24.99 on those. 2.1 looks good. And the only reason this is a little complex for us is because we do use this perfectly. Man, that card's expensive. You know what? This whenever you list cards that have these like off brand grading companies, uh, people are very leery for good reason. Of those kinds of cards, I'll do nineteen ninety nine, and it's it's slabbed, so it's not going to be able to go um, eBay standard envelope. All right, that's good. Another one of those pillow shams, and I looked before, and all these items that are this old, they're all. Um, they're all pretty much getting zero views at this point. That's the whole point, I think, of ending and relisting. I'm not even 100% sure that it's going to work. But it might, you know, it does give the item a chance as a new fresh item. And you never know. A newly listed item with a brand new number and a brand new history, I hope. Um, eBay will just treat it like a new item instead of a known bad selling item that's the whole point of this okay so now we got all these done and the the second phase of this is I go to first of all I'm gonna close this because I don't need it I have 10 tabs across the top of the screen here now and um, our item numbers are all right here so I'm on my listings page on List Perfectly, and I'm just going to search for tacos in the title. And if that shirt is here, it should pull it up. And that shirt is not not listed. Let me see. Let me make sure. I'll use another term, Deadpool. The only thing Deadpool we have cross-posted, and I'll try it a different way too. This will let me know. The only thing Deadpool we have cross-posted is that one print. So I know now that I don't have to do anything with any of the Deadpool t-shirts. Now, here's a uh, Randy Quaid press photo. Don't have, That's not cross-listed either. Uh, New Mutants comic book. Let's see if that's cross-posted. Okay, yeah, all the New Mutant, I had a bunch of those. All the New Mutant comic books are cross-posted, so I just have to copy the new, this is the new item number, and then I come over here, and I'm looking for B72, that's this first one. So I just click on Edit here, and I go down to the bottom to Inventory and Sales, and I keep going. And then I put in the new item number here. And I will double check the last three, 642 and 642, and then I click update. And then once I do that, it'll have the new, um, it'll make a new link or a new item number for eBay on this listing. And you can see it's right here. And if I click on this, it brings me to the new listing with the new price. So that's all good to go. And at that point, I could just close this listing up. All right, Pez, let me go back to my listings and I search for search for Pez. And no, I don't think that's cross posted either. I'll, I'll try again. I'll search Bond. What's that going to come up with? Oh, too much. Oh, bone plate vintage. Okay, let me just scroll through it. Let me just make sure. 
Okay, so that one's not cross posted. All right, now P9. That's a. Some of these pillow shams are cross posted, some are not. P9, Air Force, U.S. Army. Let me just double check. Uh, U.S. Army, Air Force. Yep, that looks good. So again, I'll copy this. Come back over here. Edit. Inventory and sales. And I'll change my eBay item number. You can see we have this cross posted on eBay, Etsy, Poshmark, and Macari. <laughs> and we hit update. All right, and we could close that. Larry Walker. Let's see if this is cross posted. All right, Larry Walker. Right, we have some Larry Walker stuff here. All right, it's probably this one. Let's see, is it X41? No, PGI 10. It's his bottom one. X, X30. I'll double check it again in just a second. Let me grab that number. RC, number 631, RC, blah, blah, blah. Yep, that's definitely it. So then we edit that one. Inventory and sales. I'm going to replace this number. I'll double check the number. I need to remember to do that every time because this is at, this is really crucial because if we sell these items on another platform and then Candace goes to uh, goes to end the listings and it has the wrong item number, we could potentially sell it again on uh, what am I looking for here? Oh, P12. We could potentially sell it again on eBay and then we would just be in trouble at that point. Okay, this is not cross posted. Some of those, some are, some are not. Candace just did like a sampling of them to see how they did. Okay, that one's not cross posted either. And let's see, P30. P30 is also not cross posted. So then I am done. That's what we do. All right, that's going to be it for this one. Thanks a bunch for watching, and we will see y'all again very soon. Bye, y'all. Bye.